Hi students, in today's session, I am going to reveal an excellent trick to find the enantiomer of a given molecule. It will be helpful in solving these kind of problems. Say a set of options will be given and you have to find out uh, a proper enantiomer for the given structure. Okay, so let's get started. So before, what is an enantiomer? Enantiomer, first I will uh, read out, then I will explain. Okay, uh, what are enantiomers? Enantiomers are chiral molecules that are non-superimposable mirror images of one another. Okay, I will tell you what are chiral molecules and what are non-superimposable mirror images. Uh, the second point, we all know that the enantiomers will have the same physical and chemical property. So, in uh, what point they will differ? They will rotate the plane polarized light in opposite direction. The magnitude will be same, but they will rotate in opposite direction. Okay. So, first of all, what is chiral molecule? So, chiral molecule is a carbon that has four different groups attached to it. Okay. You know the valency of carbon is four. Okay. If a carbon, the substitute, uh, substituents attached to the carbons are different. I have uh, uh, illustrated in A, B, C, D meaning that all the four uh, substituents are different one is bromine one is chlorine one is iodine and one is hydroxyl like that okay so what are non superimposable mirror images suppose if you take a circle if you have to draw the mirror image you will get the same circle right so it is superimposed see it is uh, superimposable mirror image you will get what what is meant by that you can take the circle and if you keep over it you will it is superimposing but in this case in this case if i draw if i draw the mirror image of this what will happen you see what if i keep a mirror here what will happen see the substituent b will come here it's purely imaginary imagination uh, students so this this is what dotted lines behind uh, and uh, the this wedge dark wedge is above the paper and this is below the paper okay so this is the mirror image if i take the structure and if it keep over it will it superimpose no isn't it so the b will be here and d will be here it is not superimposing whereas in the circle it is superimposing okay so it must possess a chiral molecule that is a carbon having four different groups and it must show uh, a non superimposable mirror image so the relation between these two these two structures are called as enantiomers they are called as what students enantiomers enantiomers okay so suppose they are asking you to find out the uh, enantiomer of a given compound okay suppose if this is the compound okay in general notation i have given a b c d only so what you will do immediately do to find out the enantiomer you will uh, trace out the mirror image of it okay so you will do like this as before you will do like this so the b will come here and d will come here okay so you will write this is the enantiomeric structure of this but this technique will not help you always at all time this technique will not help you so i am going to reveal an excellent trick okay whereby you will not miss this question you will never go wrong if you follow this trick okay so follow me so if this is the molecule what is the trick is take two substituent at a time and shuffle their position okay only one shuffle you can do only one exchange okay so now what i'm going to do keeping d and c at their position itself okay d and d and c i'm going to keep in their position i'm going to shuffle only a and b b will go to a's place and okay shuffle between a and b okay so now the relation between these two is enantiomer okay now what i'm going to do now keep so any two any two molecules at a time only uh, only one change you can do only one shuffle so c and b i have shuffled here what i'm going to do now now opposite also it actually this is we are showing in two dimension in three dimension tetrahedron you know all the bond angles are same all the bond angles are same even between a and c is also 108 28 minutes okay so what i'm going to do keeping d and b constant in their position intact i am going to change the position of a and c okay so now here what i'm going to do a and uh, shall we change the position you tell me okay so c d okay changed keeping a and b okay i in all these things I have changed only uh, one uh, sorry I have did only one shuffle 
okay one two substituents at a time i have exchanged their position okay now if the if it rotates the plane polarized light in clockwise direction all these molecules will be in opposite direction by convention by convention so if i represent it as okay structure 1 okay and this is 2 and this is what 3 and this is 4 and this is 5 i can say 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 all are okay if this is clockwise all are anti-clockwise and if you have a model you can check they all are same structures only these are different methods in two dimension okay they are same only actually so one more point if you do one more change if you do one more change okay that is not a that structure if i do one more change already i changed the position of a and uh, uh, what i did i changed the position of b and c right now if i do one more change if i do one more change okay now i'm changing the position of b and d here if i do two changes consequently then these are not enantiomers okay so it will also rotate the plane polarized light in the same direction as that of this one okay only one change at a time not two consecutive changes okay so if you do that then the relation between them are identical they are identical if you have a model you can check this okay and two three four five okay they are also identical if you have a model you can check this okay now apply this point in the to solve this question okay which of the following structures they have given a certain uh, uh, stra options okay let's get let's solve this so this is the main structure they have given how they obtained the structure option one you see they have changed this is the option one uh, sorry students this is c2h5 and this is what ch3 so how they obtained the methyl and ethyl have exchanged their position the methyl and ethyl only one change here what happened only one shuffle has taken place this option two this is option two how they obtained you see this has been obtained via two changes you see first the methyl and and the proton and the hydrogen got exchanged okay so this is your first change and here in the second change the bromine and ethyl have exchanged their position so here two shuffles have taken place okay here in the third option how this uh, uh, structure was arrived okay so closely look at the structure first what happened the hydrogen the hydrogen is in the same place so first bromine and methyl got exchanged their position so bromine here and methyl here and c2h5 then what happened the methyl and ethyl has exchanged their position to come to this structure so here also two changes okay here the fourth option here the fourth option the bromine hydrogen so what has taken place initially the bromine and methyl has taken so you can check this you can check this okay then what happened then what happened the bromine and hydrogen has shuffled here first what happens okay the here also two changes has taken place so two changes has taken place they will lead to the same structure and they are not enantiomers only one change this is the enantiomer okay so the trick revealed only one change okay one shuffle you have to check at a time okay so students hope this video helped you you learned something i guess okay if you liked the video please like share and comment your opinion thank you